Hello and welcome to another video. This video is an optimization problem in calculus and we're going to be trying to help a farmer who wants to make um, just a safe pasture for his animals. So he usually will walk around this river but he wants to create a nice little fence around this river in a rectangular shape but he wants the area of the pasture he creates in that small area to be 180,000 meters squared. The problem, however, is he doesn't have a lot of money. So he wants us to help him decide what will be the dimensions of the rectangle so that he will spend the least amount of money in creating that rectangular fence. You can see that you don't need a fence along the river, you just need a fence along this side and this side and this side. So let's create a rectangle and then see what the dimensions of the rectangle will be that will provide 180,000 square meters, yet the farmer will be spending the least amount of money. Let's do it. So this is what the farmer imagines, that he's going to have 180,000 meters squared and he's going to have a rectangle along the river and that will be the pasture. But we want to make sure that the material he uses for fencing this costs him the least. And that happens when you spend the least amount of money buying material and that happens when this length is the shortest or the smallest. So what do we know right now? Remember we said um, it's an optimization problem. That is, you're trying to get the most out of what you have or you're trying to spend the least for what you want. So in this case, he wants to spend the least for what he wants. He knows what he wants and that's fixed. So this is not a maximization problem, it's a minimization problem because we're minimizing cost. Now, what do we have? We have an area. How do you find the area of a rectangle? We know that it's gonna be the length multiplied by the width. So we can first write the first equation that we know, which is gonna be that um, the area x, y is going to be 180,000. Length times width, 180,000 is the area. That's very common and easy for us to figure out. What's the second thing? Well, we need to know the total length of, of fencing that we're gonna have. What's the total length of fencing? Just add y to x to y. Okay, so let's do that. We have L will be equal to X plus Y plus Y, that's plus two Y. Okay, because this is an optimization problem, you know that you will need to differentiate. You will need to differentiate what you want to minimize. So because you want to find the rate of change of that total length, so DL D something. What would that something be? Well, you could do DL DX, the rate of change of L with X or with respect to Y. That's your choice. Okay, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna differentiate with respect to x, and therefore, I'm gonna write this y in terms of x. How can I replace y? Well, we've got one equation here, so I can write y in terms of x, and then I can write it here. So you notice that we can write l to be x plus two times y, but what is y? From this equation, you know that y is 180,000 divided by x. So I'm going to replace y here and say 180,000 divided by x. And that's it. Now, this is the expression that we need to simplify and then minimize. So what we need to do next is to differentiate this. Remember, we're counting on this idea that at the maximum or the minimum point, well, we expect to have a minimum here, at the minimum point of this function, the rate of change, dl dx, or the derivative of this function will be equal to zero. That's the point of calculus, okay? It will be zero because at that point, when something reaches the minimum, it can no longer go down. It has to change direction as long as it keeps continuing, and that's what we're counting on. So we're looking for that point where it stops going down and you can no longer go down. And that's where dl dx will be equal to zero. Okay, so let's differentiate this, okay? So we say dl dx 
or B. The derivative of this is 1. And how do we differentiate this? Well, this doesn't look nice enough to differentiate. So let me change this, change this expression to 3,600 times x to the negative 1. Give me a second. So we're going to write this as L equals x plus 360,000 x to the negative 1. Now let's differentiate. DL, DL, DX will be equal to 1 plus, um, well, this is going to be minus. 1 minus 360,000 x to the negative 2. Well, we can rewrite this expression. It would be 1 minus 360,000 over x squared. Again, let's put everything together. We'll end up with 1, not 1, x squared minus 360,000 over x squared. That's dl dx. Okay, so what should we do with this? It's very simple. When is a rational expression equal to zero? Remember, this is equal to, the z to zero, okay, at this point. Well, this is only equal to zero when the numerator is equal to zero, not the denominator, remember? Okay, so the only thing that's relevant at this point is we say at minimum, we say x squared minus 360,000 will be equal to zero. And then we can solve this. As you can see, this is difference of two squares. We'll end up with x squared being 360,000. And then what will x be? Well, we know that x will be plus or minus 600. So we only have two options for x to be. x has to be positive 600 or negative 600. Well, Come on, look at this. We're dealing with rectangles. The sides of a rectangle can never be negative. So the only option we have is x equals 600. Okay, now we've got x to be 600, 600 meters. Are you sure that is the minimum? Okay, let's see if it's the minimum. How do you check whether what you got is correct or not? whether it's the absolute minimum or at least the local minimum, this is what you do. You just do what you call the sign chart and you test. So we want to test what's happening to this derivative. What's happening here? Let's say we pick a number that is less than 600. Okay, we haven't reached 600 yet. What is ha what's happening to the slope of this function? So I'm going to pick, say, 500. So let's go. Any number you pick that's less than 600, in fact, just to make things easy, pick zero. <laughs> okay, so if you plug in zero here, this is gonna, well, we can't use zero because of this. So let's just pick 500. So pick 500, you're gonna end up with 500 squared is gonna be 250,000 minus this. Well, 250,000 is less than 360,000, so your answer is gonna be negative over positive. Well, negative over four, you can, you can do just, to do your sign chart, you can say x squared minus 360,000, and then you have x squared. So we pick a value here, let's say we pick 500. If you plug in 500 into here, your answer at this point is gonna be negative, and this is be positive. Combination of negative and positive will be negative, okay? So this area is negative, which means the slope of this curve is like this. It's coming down, okay? It's coming down. That's why it's negative, slopes to the left. Now, let's test a number beyond 600. Let's pick 700. To pick 700, this would be 490,000, and it's gonna be positive, and this is gonna be 490,000. 490,000 minus this will give you positive over positive, so you're gonna have positive over positive, which makes this region, let's say we pick 700, will be positive, so it has a positive slope, and that means it's going up this way. So, when something goes this way and comes back up, that's the minimum. So, we, can, we have confirmed that x equals 600 is the minimum value of x. That will maximize, sorry, that will optimize this rectangle. And then you can go back and say why. So, this clearly confirms a minimum point. Okay, now what will y be? We've written here at the beginning that y is 180,000 divided by x. So that's 180,000 divided by 600. 
okay? And what would that answer be? That definitely is 300 meters. So clearly we have two answers. It's gonna be a rectangle of dimensions 600 by 300. So we come here and say this is equal to 300 meters and this is equal to 600 meters. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.